focus, determination and practice. This 90 minute game has all the drama and heart pounding action. Get on board and explore the science behind every stunning kick, pass, shoot and more. The journey to simplify all your lessons begins. So let's kick off with extra marks. Football is a risky game. Given the size and the speed of a footballer, it is not a surprise that the game has one of the highest rates of injuries. While playing, a footballer is likely to sustain an injury to his legs, mouth, shoulder and in the worst case scenario, the head. In situations like these, pain relievers are of vital importance as they help the player get back to his game. Pain relievers are a class of chemical substances that come in the category of analgesics. These help in reducing pain without causing any impairment in consciousness, mental confusion or any other disturbance related to nerves. In the event of a potentially harmful incident that can damage the body, specialized nerve cells called nociceptors are activated that release chemical substances called prostaglandins. These cause inflammations in the body tissues that cause pain. Pain relievers work by inhibiting the synthesis of prostaglandins that help in relieving pain. Aspirin and ibuprofen are common examples of chemical compounds that are extensively used to make pain relievers. Once these drugs are in the bloodstream, they are carried throughout the body to attack the painful areas. The usage of these drugs should however be controlled as any overdose may lead to serious health hazards. After a player is relieved of his pain, he can kick, shoot and pass a ball to the best of his ability. Do you know how far a player can pass a ball? Watch out for our next episode.